So, all of my plans got derailed, sadly. Good morning, everyone. It's not as cold as I thought it was going to be out, but it's a little chilly. Weather forecast says rain, so we'll see. Uh, so I just wanted to hop on while I get ready to feed the chickens. It's the... It's Saturday, December 23rd. This video will probably come out after Christmas. It's the holidays, right? And uh, I just wanted to give everybody a quick update on the chicken coop build. But first, let's go on here because I know they're hungry and get some chicken feed. I know that looks like a lot of chicken feed, but this is uh, gonna go in their automatic feeder. Gotta head out of town for a couple days. And uh, you know, my chicken coop build, well, the designs had to get thrown out of the window and I had to, on a very short notice, basically, get something functional i'll explain why later um so just know that all of my ideas and plans just kind of went out the window and i had to go with what i could make work the quickest <laughs> isn't thelma the cutest so first off, I had a lot of great comments. Uh, one of them was about how far the uh, mesh needs to be out to prevent dig. Um, you can see this one, it's not quite two feet, but it's pretty close. Uh, there's some shorter spots. I will go back around when that goes to get buried and uh, I plan on adding some uh, hardware cloth to it. It's real, real janky. So bear with me um, and I'll explain why. Hello ladies. Red, how you doing girl? You wanna get you a snack Red? Come on, Red, you gonna get you a snack? <laughs> she will jump up and take the food out of your hands. So, as you can see, another concern was that um, I was gonna be having the chickens on gravel. No, that is just a drive that I built down to here in a parking pad behind me. They are on dirt and they were on eight to 10 inches, I'd have to say, of uh, wood chips, deep bedding. Um, which I keep adding to. So as you can see, I've started roofing. Uh, this, netting, this netting here behind me isn't to keep anything out. Um, First night I put them in here, the day before I had to leave for the airport, I came out and they were roosting all on the uh, edges. Um, they were roosting on all the edges. So I just hung some Premier One electric fencing to keep them from jumping up. And it has worked so far. Um, did a couple clear panels most of this build besides the pressure treated 
stuff um, was sourced here on the land, milled here on the land. Um, obviously the OSB was not. Like I said, I just threw sheets up because I had to get it done. Another comment that I got was that the coop needed to be higher so that nothing would live under it. Two reasons why I did what I did. One, I'm six foot tall and I wanted to be able to walk. I wanted to be able to walk inside. And two, Libby the guard goose. I didn't want it to be too high and difficult for her to get up in there. I wanted to keep it low so she could easily get in, so that she could easily get into the coop. Sorry, I'm in their coop. They don't like it. So in the coming um, couple weeks after the holidays, I plan on making it look prettier. Um, so if y'all have any ideas, I was thinking like farm barn red with um, and doing like a batten down it white. Um, let me let me know what y'all think. And I'm gonna finish the roof so I can get that tarp off of there, which again, it's really just there to keep them from flying up. Look at Lulu being cute for everybody. You are such a big belly boy. So, all of my plans got derailed. Sadly, we had death in the family and I had to leave state and that only left me with a very narrow window to get my chicken safe and to get some sort of automation so I didn't have to have them fed every day, um, which is where they're at now. You know, they have their kiddie pool filled with water so they can go a few days. They have the bucket feeder. I put a pig feeder in there uh, for Libby so she can get in. Um, it just is what it is, folks. I'm back now. I'm gonna get back to milling clearing up my wood pile for the winter and uh well i hope you follow me for more of the chicken coop build and saw milling and whatever else crazy stuff i get into uh until next time y'all be safe have a merry christmas a happy holidays and above all else i hope y'all the brightest and safest new year take care